we pulled you guys on your top ceramides questions and there's some really fantastic questions so let's dive right into it someone asked why all the ceramide four creams feel so unmoisturizing I don't know which moisturizer you're referring to, but there could be a few things at play here. Ceramides are great for supporting your skin's natural barrier function for the long run, but in a good moisturizer, you still need your humectants and occlusives for that instant hydration. Ceramides are notoriously difficult to formulate, so what could be happening is that some sacrifices had to be made, and the moisturizer doesn't have enough of these more instant hydration ingredients your skin needs. Next, can ceramides in a very watery formula even help your skin if ceramides are hydrophobic? So I'll be honest, we're not big fans of ceramides in watery formulas. There are now a lot of newer aged ceramides that can play nicely in water. They can be encapsulated or synthetically modified, but sadly, we haven't seen a lot of convincing clinical evidence on these newer forms of ceramides, so it's a pass for us for the time being on these watery products. Then someone asked, if I feel burning or itching when using ceramides, is it okay? That's gonna be a no from us. Uh, certain actives like glycolic acid or retinol, and sometimes even vitamin and C can cause mild irritations like that. But ceramides is not one of these ingredients that should be causing any sort of skin irritation. It might not even be the ceramides, but it sounds like this particular formula isn't compatible with your skin. If you want to learn more about the science behind ceramides in your skincare, definitely check out our blog or the latest episode of our Chemist Confessions podcast. People!